What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakai Podcast, week 11 of the winter 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season anime airing. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Shren. Hey, guys. Next up, we have Brian. Hello! And finally, we have Ku. Hello, peeps. All right, so uh, quick, just we have just quick two pieces of news today. Um, there's two anime series that got, or two like novel series that got announced made into an anime. Uh, the first one is eighty six. Um, this is a sci-fi uh, like light novel. It's basically about I think it's it's uh, basically um two there's like two like cadets in the military and I think it's just like they have to defend their homeland from like the invading empire. So a lot apparently this one has a lot of mechs. Um, people on Reddit seem to enjoy it, so I'm actually I'm looking forward to this. Um, looks like it'd be a good season. And then the next one is um, uh, Combatants Will Be Dispatched. This is by the uh, the Konosuba author. Um, looks like so far it's just the, the summary just says um, just uh, this this guy has like an android partner, his waifu basically, and then they have to go to uh, they have to take a spaceship to go to a planet, and it says like the planet is a fantasy land. So I guess like kind of sci-fi slash fantasy isekai, but it's the it's Konosuba author, so. Hopefully it'll be good. Um, hopefully it's not. Hopefully Shred and Coop won't be disappointed like they were for that, that other show. I mean, I'm he's one and one right now. So yeah, I mean, he's he's at one hundred percent. I'm okay with uh, Konosuba or other waifus as well. Mm. I'll take it. I'll give it a chance at least. Yeah. Do they have a release date or anything, or they just announced? No, it? they never announced release dates when they announced the anime series. So you should expect like, I'd say like six to months to a year. I'd say a year probably. So. Yeah, especially with uh, <laughs> the current situation of what's going on. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance of that. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So that's just that's quick, uh, it for just uh, news this week, and then we're head straight uh, straight right into My Hero Academia. Uh, I mean, just just I guess like this episode uh was but like you know it was it was good because we actually got to the fight. I just want to hear everyone's thoughts on what they thought about <laughs> that fight, but. I want to hear what Brian thinks first. All right. Well, okay. Earlier I said I was going to flame this, but it was really only one part. <laughs> Overall, I think it was pretty good, right? So let's start off like a minute and a half recap of the start of the episode, and then you got the intro of the show, and then it kicked right off into it. It was pretty good. And then uh, we got to know uh, La Brava's quirk. It was like just love. So it's literally the power of friendship only for one person, and it's it's like a legitimate power up, I guess, compared to the power of friendship. So I guess that's a bonus. But uh, I just man, I just remember playing this one part when Deku was like, "You're the strongest guy I yeah. fought against." I was like, "Bro, that is the most disrespectful thing you can tell literally anybody." Yeah. Like you're not only lying to this man's face. You're literally disrespecting all the other villains that you've ever faced in your entire life. How many times did you almost die to fucking literally every other villain? Multiple. And you're going to say, this dude's the strongest? You can fuck off. Which is, uh, which is funny because we just got off Chisaki and he's saying like... Yeah, you legit almost died, kid. <laughs> Stay, stain, you legit almost died. Muscular, you actually almost died. So, yeah. Did he say the most... Saying this shit, didn't he say the most difficult opponent, not the strongest? He said something about strongest. I thought he unless, said like, strongest. I'm yeah. pretty sure. I, unless, you know what? The translation Just for lot, this, but... I actually have a picture proof. Let me pull it up, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Where is it? But, um, uh... yeah. That that part, like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that part either. Because he, like, he said it once, and then, like, during the fight, and then he also said, like, after the fight, too. I'm like, are you sure, Deku? Like... He just got like yeah, ten, times, ten times stronger, but like blown, he wasn't really that strong to begin with. So I assume he, but, he mainly said it just for him. Uh, that's my unless, guess. Yeah. Unless, but, he, unless, come on. unless he meant like like strength of heart, sure. But like, uh, yeah, cause, that's about it, dude. Like, because if you really think about the context of it, it it really was just challenging his uh, his ambition, I guess. Right, his his persistence. And I believe maybe I was just reading something that was sub differently, but I heard or I read the most difficult opponent he's ever faced, not the strongest. Maybe, maybe it was like translation. So. Right. 
Um, but but yeah, I think all in all, it was just basically Deku kind of recognizing his. Even, uh, I don't know. Like I said, just his ambition. I mean, really, even still, it's like it just. Even if, if that is the case, like I just don't, I just don't see Gentle Criminal as like, like this deep character. That, I don't know, like, like I don't, I don't, I don't even buy that. That's like ambition or like his heart, you know. It's just, just the whole thing, just like didn't really get to me. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, I, I kind of felt where he was coming from. Uh, it, like, with the whole arc being kind of lighthearted, you can kind of tell where he's coming from. It's just. He's not like a hardcore villain. Uh, he was just some kid who wanted to be a hero, but wasn't like up to par. They didn't really and... like because they had they had that flashback with him. he saw that book of like the history of Super Millie, but like they didn't right. really explain much after that. So it didn't really give right. like a good motive for like really what he did besides like yeah I want to be a hero, but yeah, right. He... But he had a motive, and you can kind of relate to it though. That's yeah, the issue. but it's not it's not as strong as like as like even like the other like some of the other characters in the series so far so it's that's why it's hard to believe that deku would even say like yeah like i, I feel yeah. like uh he's as normal as a villain as as you can get yeah but i think they're just trying to relate that you know there's like the npcs like they have feelings too and they have backstories and this is just a guy who wanted to be the best but he just couldn't and that caused him to go down this so-called dark path like he went on to put his name down in history as someone of importance there was some of his backstory that was uh, that was kind of like a dick move on, <laughs> like the was it the the social part where it's just like the guy is trying to save the guy that's falling down ends up saving the thing and basically the thing crushes the dude and first I thought like oh god this guy's dead and they're like oh he just suffered major injuries yeah I, was like, I thought he was fine. dead for real yeah. <laughs> I was like he's fine you have there's healers he'll he'll be just fine and then he had like all those other things put against him and it's just like wait what like it's I think it's a little bit overboard for. Somebody that was actually had like good intentions with trying I mean, to save that's, somebody. That's Japan. Or I mean, that's anime. Like you gotta make it dramatic. So yeah, that, that's, that's that, how that was... you got like, and then like even if you have good intentions, you you always got you got like just uh, assume the worst and then never ask them for their side. Yeah, I mean, those are really like my like the two things where first like you know the first part that Brian said, but I just I took it as where he just he was saying it for him and not really for you know, not really meaning it because obviously he was what i think deku is at what eight 20 percent probably yeah i think he's only oh, probably still 20 okay yeah but just um yeah so yeah well i know he, i think he was at eight but then i think he was uh, yeah. Yeah. i think it has to be what 20 percent to be able to do that i believe so um, yeah but i actually like went from hating these two villains and thinking they were absolutely pointless for this arc to actually really liking both of them <laughs> So I thought that was pretty good. I mean, I felt bad for the girl because, like, because she's just lonely. But at the same time, it's like I still don't really care about them. Like, I'm just so down on this arc in general. Oh, I mean, for the overall thing, like, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. I mean, I I would have been cool with them actually, like, if they were somehow become good and they were just kind of like there, or they would show up like here and there for different situations. I, mean, I don't still, know. So kind of creepy that like I think she's still in middle school, so like a middle school girl, like. Being no, she's middle school. Like, I don't think she is anymore. I think oh, like, uh, it's gotta be high school, high school. or just, just flashback. Because they flash back to when Gentle Criminal was in middle school, and they flash back to when LeBron was in middle school. And I feel like she is a lot older now, it's just because of how much time it took for her to gain her hacking skills or her networking skills. In a sense, yeah. she was just cooped up in her computer just, all the time. I'm just assuming it's like it's more it's more adora- uh, was it admiration <laughs> than like actual love. So yeah. she's it's just like she's just like in like like, like fangoring over a, like a celebrity than like actual love. So yeah. that's why I assume it is. And, so. and yeah. gentle, gentle criminal, I believe, and he looked a lot younger in the flashbacks too. Even though mm-hmm. he looked old to begin with, and he was in high school. It's the mustache. It's the mustache <laughs> and the white hair. It's gotta be the mustache. <laughs> yeah. Man, was... All right, hold on. Okay. Can I say this too? That bamboo sure. dickhead. What a fucking yeah, no. tool, that was a dude. dude. That was a douche that was move. A fucking piece of shit. Yeah. I fucking hate that. If I see that hero anywhere later in the series, I fucking hope he dies, man. Yeah, it's like I mean, come on. Like, how how good can you be if if your quirk is somehow related to bamboo? Come on, <laughs> like no, dude, no, no. Let, let, let's let's imagine, man. let's imagine that the bamboo guy was Deku, and then Jetel Criminal was like, say Aoyama or like Metal or Minata, whatever. Mm-hmm. There is such a gap in levels and such a gap in just uh, like name recognition. 
that that's kind of the comparison you're getting. If that was Deku and Gentle Criminal was someone else, I can totally get that. Like, why no, would I remember you? No, you're so no, useless. no, 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 no. Like, I, like I, if Gentle no, Criminal no, 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 was, no, was the Invisible Girl. You cannot say if, that. You knew for a fact by that dude's fucking face re- expression, he knew exactly who they, uh, that Gentle Criminal was, and he just no. wanted nothing to do with them. That was what the facial no. expression I got from that man. No, Gentle and Criminal was completely useless. And he dropped out of school. So, like, all these so, years later, like, why would you still... have to just completely do, say do you, you don't know who he is. Do you, do you remember just, all the people just, from middle school? Brian, do you remember uh, all, the, all your people. fellow students from middle school? Well, cool. Most people. Most. Okay. Honestly, I was very... I was, like, I was very much... Uh, I was very quiet in middle school. I was very uh, indoors. Well, cool. I, was, I was an avid indoorsman. The thing and is, I knew a lot of people's names. The thing is, like, um, like after middle school, like, he... After the whole, like, when he did that... uh. When he like messed up, like getting away the hero, like you know, people knew about him and he got bullied. So you you would know about him because he would spread rumors. So that, that's not really. That was yeah, yeah. You would. No, if I was busy doing my grind from middle school onwards, okay. right? <laughs> no, no, no. In all, in all honesty, if I was busy doing my grind from middle school on, because even back they're like oh yeah like this guy has a pretty strong quirk even hero wars are starting to like trying to recruit him and then now that he's all grown up he has his own hero agency this guy from the get-go was trying his best to get his grind on and he succeeded so why would i worry about these other guys that wasn't really a part of that uh, i don't really buy that well, well right I, I would think that they would know who he was just because of like his name was in the news as yeah. well and yeah basically I, like... I back up yeah back up brian because you would probably um, know because it's like know. a local because he, it seemed because he was like in his, he was in the agency, and it seemed like it was a local area. So I would assume, like, yeah. I mean, there's no way in hell he would not know. Yeah, like and they were friends too, weren't they? At some point? No, I think they're just classmates. No, I think I think oh, they're acquaintances. Okay. Yeah, they're, but don't because no, because his mom was like talking about about him. That's why. So I think they're probably just like classmates or but like, but yeah, basically like he he was like he was, yeah he probably like would have been had like rumors spread about how like. Like he failed like four times and had to drop out, and then, then the whole thing of like mess like getting in the way, and then people like you know like, like tell right like you know spray painting on his house go die like you would not you would know about that. Yeah, that's no, pretty if, intense. If you if if they showed one instance of them actually hanging out or talking to each other, maybe, but they never showed that, so we have to assume that they've never like acknowledged each other really. So... And then, like I said, if you're busy doing your thing, and he was like kind of an outcast, that's, that's he assuming, was kind of isolated. That's assuming a lot from the bamboo guy. I wish he was just a normal person. So, no, he was a guy that had a lot of potential. Yeah. A normal douche. And, <laughs> and again, if we're going off of just what we see, then we can't assume that they actually know of each other or not like, know each other that well that he would uh, remember them. Like I, I don't sometime down the road. I'm the girl, I, mean, I, don't. I don't buy that. Okay. Fair enough, cool. <laughs> I'll give you half a point for this one. Half, okay. I'll give you half. Okay. All I can say is, is I felt more of an emotional attachment to these two characters than Chisaki, and that's kind of yeah. I know, right? I guess, that's yeah. Great. I can right. agree with that. Just because, yeah. like, they gave a little backstory of Gentle Criminal. I was like, damn, dude, you had a rough. I feel for you. And that's yeah, dude, dude, both their backstories were actually really good, and then also like uh the, like the little moment where you like were basically like where she's just like oh man like her eyes were like just dark as fuck around it. like where it legit it looked like makeup but apparently yeah just not, was, I guess right just from, from the computer all the time there, and then just like not sleeping I'm guessing and then he actually yeah. colored his eyes as well for it I thought that was yeah. nice yeah so, like, like yeah, those was a good guy the the character those development feels. even though you guys hated him at first and I loved him from the get go like it was actually pretty good and at the end you felt like an emotional attachment towards him and yeah. I even thought that at the end. Like Deku was just gonna like let him go. That's actually what I thought too. If you promise to just like go and don't cause any more trouble, I'll let you go. Because like she, LeBron was just like bawling her eyes out, completely powerless. And even Deku could tell that she really cared about him. Yeah, uh, gentle criminal. So I thought that was was gonna happen. But I think this ending was okay too, where he realized that he was at a loss and that to make sure that LeBron doesn't have a bad uh, future, that he was just gonna give up. And that's yeah. what he did. So I. Like the way to end it, I thought it was actually pretty nice. I'd so. be okay with seeing these guys in the future. Yeah, and they yeah, can totally make a comeback. Cool. I feel. Yeah. Uh, also, and you're going back to Deku. He's he's becoming a beast with his bullets. <laughs> <laughs> with the air bullets. Yeah. I it's like it's I expected like, more of an impact. It's like we've seen already in a movie. I'm a, Dude, that St. Louis smash though. Pretty good. Oh yeah, that that too. 
Well, no, even when he was basically just like, you know, like where he's doing like all the, like where um, the parts that, uh, I forgot what, I'm, I'm blanking on um, Gentle Criminal's quirk. Like, or the, uh, the, like the, air, something like, like you know, rubberized he, or something. He, he can, can turn anything, anything to rubber. Thing. Yeah. What did you say, Ko? He can change the elasticity of anything he touches. Yeah. So like when he basically just like figured like the, the elasticity and then the bullet yeah. just bounces and just drills him. That was a, that was a pretty cool scene. That's called, well, that's what you call a 200 IQ play, dude. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll call, okay. Also, to like clarify, on Crunchyroll, this is the translation of when Deku had Gentle Criminal pinned down. He says, uh-huh. You were harder to fight than anyone I'd ever fought until now. So that could go okay. different ways, but uh, I guess yeah. that's, that's, that's like up for interpretation. But right. for me, I was just, I instantly I, I, I just took it, a yeah. massive, massive disrespect to everybody and everyone. Yeah, I took yeah. it literally too. But I guess I'll look. I'll look in the Japanese later. I mean, yeah, I legit so. took it as like I thought he was just saying it just for him because yeah, it sounded yeah, like some, that's something he wanted to hear. Yeah, you know. Yep. And like as a hero, you always want to try to make them feel as as n- nice or as good about themselves as possible. I guess. So and, and Deco's like just as about as far as you can get away from being a dick. <laughs> so, right. You know, it seems like he's definitely uh, yeah, would be, unlike like your, cares unlike about your, feelings. Unlike your boy Bakugo. Oh, Bakugo doesn't give a shit. He blow him up. Right. So yeah. yep. be like, you suck. <laughs> get the yep. fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. La Brava's sitting there just you know, crying on his shoulder and like, just point blank grenade mm-hmm. goes off and then <laughs> I don't blink of an eye. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't think he should have taken it as a as a term of disrespect to his opponents from the past. I think it's more of just a sign of respect that hey, you know, I got you beat, but I can see that you're trying your best as well. You know, I'll say something to make you feel not not feel as bad for losing to me. I guess I I, yeah. I guess I can understand that, but right. But overall, I, mean, I ended up actually liking this arc when I did not think at all that I was going to. Um, I'm just. I'm very. I like, mean, I'd, I'd I just say want... I like this episode. <laughs> That's yeah. As far as... Well, yeah, there was a, I'm a last, Brian. Last, like... episode, last episode was good too. That was the first mm-hmm. episode that I really. I think it was last episode that I started. I mean, last episode was just really the setup for this one. Okay. Uh, they okay. had like half a fight in the last one, and then this one was like full out fight. I'll just say the last few episodes then, and I'll leave it at that. I'm just ready for like the season to be over. Yeah, just because this, yeah, just... this episode was enough to make up for the season. So. Yeah, I mean, I would love. I, mean, I I would love this for spring season to get here with no more delays or cancellations or delays uh, in shows. I don't know about that, Ryan. Looks, I, Ooh, I, I know. Care. I'm still every time That's... every time I open up anime news either in the morning or at night to basically just check up. I hold my breath, thinking, just don't show me any bore, any any bad. I'm, news. I'm thinking like may, even like I think next season Hero Academia might be delayed because they have to get start working on production. They should be working it right now or something, or that starts soon. But like. They haven't announced anything though. I know, but like, uh, I'm I'm sure with like how hard they work these animators and stuff, they'd be like, yeah, just work at home because it's done at this deadline, you know. Well, Hopefully. the thing is, like, uh, <laughs> it's no, it's because of the the, the, the contracting because they can't they have a lot of like Korean and Chinese contractors. Oh, true. So and the whole reason for bones, though. What? For bones? I'm pretty sure. I or mean, they keep it in house. I'm, I'm pretty sure Bones has it too. Like almost everyone okay. has, has contractors. That's gotcha. Like in the credits, you see, like you see. Like Korean names, you see Chinese names, and more recently, you're seeing a lot more Vietnamese names. So okay, hell yeah! I haven't, I haven't, I have not noticed any of that. So, um, but the thing is, like, that's why ReZero was delayed because, like, they have when they have the contracting studios, like, they still like physically mail them, and you can't mail anything right now between the countries, or 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 I think they hand either mail or I think they even like pass off to an agent to hand deliver, which is really weird. It's just be online right now but they're not because japan so you know be the country that has like the best area in the world still do everything like by mail so Mm, yeah so that's why like that's my hero academia might be delayed like like we might not get in the fall like we usually do i'm fine with waiting so there's a bunch of other shows that uh or at least for spring i'm not gonna worry about it for now that's so far away (laughs) yeah I'm just saying, like for later, like like for, like fall and maybe winter, like that stuff, like a lot of that stuff just might get delayed. Okay. So. Well, I'm done. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think we overkilled this. <laughs> so it's gonna be. It, I yeah. think it deserved it though. I think it, this episode deserved uh, it. I don't know. Yeah. She's a hater, David. I am. <laughs> so that's normally my part too. What the fuck, man? Right. Stealing my bit. All right. So that's gonna be it for my Hero Academia. 
And then we're moving on next to Q to the top. Brian, mute yourself. Bye-bye. Well, I'll uh, message you when it's safe. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Mute yourself already then. Whoa, whoa, language, <laughs> sir. God damn. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I can start off this one. So, with this one, it was kind of like a backstory for Kyoko. Briefly. I think it was like the first half, wasn't it? Was Kyoko's backstory? Yeah, by brief, yeah. I was like, yeah. well, I wouldn't even say it was like a full half because they were kind of doing, they were doing some other parts too. Um, so I'd say maybe a third. Maybe? Sure. A little sure. bit more than that, yeah. Yeah. But then, yeah, so it was basically the first half was just setting up for the match and then they finally get started with the first match with this unknown school. So so thankfully, oh. Sren, it's not <laughs> it's not what you're thinking. So Yeah, oh, but, but, but hold on, hold on one second. But... but at first, though, when they showed this kid and then they mixed up the bags, and I'm just like, "Are we uh-huh. really gonna do some stupid shit like this right yeah, now?" They about to do uh, it. <laughs> I was, I, and I just thought, like, "Oh my god, are they, are they seriously gonna slow this down even more?" It was just brief, and then I was set up for her backstory, even though it wasn't even technically that much of a backstory. It just basically says like she was a hurdler, she hurt herself, and then uh, that was she became a manager. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that was. That's- eh. As much as I love this chick, uh, yeah, I was getting kind of worried that this might be a filler episode. And if they were to have done it on the two girl managers, I would have been kind of mad, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's it's only like the first third or half or whatever, so it's fine. And yeah. then the match was actually pretty funny this time around. And it kind of set up the next two episodes. Because I'm assuming there's only, what, two, three episodes left, right? Three. Three, okay. Yep. So... I can't imagine them doing two matches within these next three episodes. Um, are you sure? This is a no-name team, though. These are people we've never seen, so I th- I wouldn't be surprised if this next episode they just kind of they finish this. Well, do they play best of three sets? They got it right, or, or is everything best of five now in nationals? I would imagine it's best of five. I'm not sure. Okay, if it's best but... of five, then I'll say that this is the only match they play, and they kind of just set it up for the next round. Right. And they, or maybe they just go over like you know the the review of some other people's matches. Like let's say they finished early, mm-hmm. and then they go, then they're just like, hey, let's go watch some other matches, and then they right. go watch the other schools, their other friends, and then we get to watch something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I would imagine this next two episodes would be the the finish of the match, and then the last episode would be them setting up the next bracket, like the semifinals or something. Right. You know, semifinals? Like quarterfinals. You think it's or or quarterfinals? Sorry. Okay. Well. How many teams? I, I know they they mentioned how many teams were there. I forgot what the number it's like, was. It was like over hundred or whatever. I Is it that many? Them. God, I, I, I it's, to... it's all of Japan, so I would imagine so. Okay, but, um, I mean, there's, there's got to be tons. I'd imagine. All right. I'll, I'll like when you guys when you and David are doing a different anime, then I'll look up some stuff and then just see what I can find, and then just kind of make a just you know just let you know. Right. But uh, what was your thoughts on the animation for uh, this match? Uh, again, it's it was okay. Um, really, my God, dude! Because okay. again, this this is a sports anime. I'm not looking for like some high tier quality. Dude. Like, although, like I said, the last few seasons have been a lot better for sure. But I mean, it's it's acceptable. It wasn't as choppy as I thought it would be. As as what I was worried about. Uh, so that's fine. Like as long as to me they have it somewhat fluid, it's it's fine. All right, for me, for, me, for uh, the reason why, like I actually like Haiku is because the animation. Was like it just it just like hyped you up so much like it just felt so intense uh-huh. and I thought that was definitely like a, that was a big part of like why I got pulled into the show mm-hmm. and then now it's just like I I do think it's actually really choppy. Um, there were some parts where they were like transitioning to the net and it just looked like just how they moved. It just looked unnatural. It didn't look it didn't look fluid. Mm-hmm. Um, it just looked oh I just felt that it was just brutal. Like like every point, it just doesn't feel like I even care. Because it's it's just like the shots that they're there's just like the shots and everything that's happening. Yeah, I, I just I can't get hyped. Everything like for me, it just looks just awful. Um, yeah, because I'm not really seeing it. Uh, the only time I've ever had a big problem was it a big problem with the animation was when they first showcased Hinata trying to approach and spike the ball, and that was like super choppy. And I can t- totally tell that the uh, quality animation was dropped. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, for this one, it, it wasn't that I didn't really notice it. It wasn't that bad. And then I guess um, like the highlight for me was towards the end of Kageyama kind of adjusting to the uh, environment. Yeah. And then having that like kind of like grid positioning like 
accuracy that he had going on. Yeah. I thought that was pretty badass. So maybe that just kind of overshadowed the whole episode for me. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I'm I'm pretty hyped though because basically they set Kageyama to be up like uh like this next episode, this next two episodes, to just be ready to just kill this team because no. there's I don't think there's any way they're ready for like Kinata and Kageyama's fast. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like right when they said like, "Oh, just pay attention to number ten," uh, and then right. really like, because what we've seen, like, everybody's been training, everybody's been doing their own thing. I'm like thinking like, yeah. that's probably the least of their concern is like, you know, the fast. Like they, right. they're, like their team, like in general, can do so much more now. I, mm-hmm. uh, so I, I don't know, but but for the animation parts, like if you notice, like the part that I that like I've always hated is like when they show like a character that's kind of like moving. But they have like that, like all around them looks like they're like warping into something where it's just like really co- it's like colorful or something else is going around. Mm-hmm. We're kind of just like where I think the previous seasons wasn't that good or wasn't didn't go with that much, and it just makes it looks just so bad. It reminds me of the nineties, <laughs> <laughs> like the nineties anime, early two thousands, where it just like where it just I don't know why they do it. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but it just looks like it. It's just like I just assume it's just budget saving stuff. But yeah. I also found out, like, because oh, I'm sorry, cool. But um, but for the, but I didn't know like for the IG production, just like how many other big shows that they've done, because mm-hmm. I had no, I had because I, I don't watch Attack on Titan. I didn't right. know that that actually was the same studio that did Attack on Titan. And there's mm-hmm. a bunch of these okay. other ones. And I'm thinking like, because uh, uh, I was just because I, I was like looking to see, maybe it's like with this this animation, maybe it's just it's a recent thing. Maybe mm-hmm. the people that did you know, the previous nice animations, they're gone from that. But no, they should all still be there. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, they just chose the te- like the temp workers. Yeah. I don't know. Are you sure that's the same people over Attack on Titan? No, it's the same. Pr- it's like the same studio. Same studio, but n- not the same team. Mm-hmm. So it, wh- it's which studio that's doing high key right now? Isn't it IG? Which, like, it's, I- it's production ID, yeah, but like, uh, Attack on Titan is specifically Wit Studio, who is under Production IG. So they're like they're they're separate. They're under the the IG Production uh, umbrella. Okay, but well, it basically like, you go to so, Anime List, it so just shows it's a like, bunch. They're under the same company, but it's not the same studio. Okay. Um, so. Well, you you still think like I mean they, they've I mean they've done the previous season, so you'd think that they would be the same animators. Um, I, mean, I don't not, know. I mean, it's not just always, like, but yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. It's really confusing. It's just like, damn, if you do have like those, if you do have like those like high end animators that did like mm-hmm. uh, Attack on Titan or Vinland Saga or any of those other shows, it's just like really you you it's you not, choose. It's not, it's not the same though, because that's yeah, that's different. That's different. Studio. Yeah, I'm not I'm saying, but if it, but if it, so if it is, like, well, why, why do you choose? Why are you saying right? what if though? Like it's. I mean, in all honesty, like I said, it's been about three years since they did the last season. So yeah. maybe that original team has moved on to something else. I can't imagine them waiting three years for this to make a comeback. Yeah, well, that's, what that's what I'm wondering too. Um, yeah. Because I will admit, though, the designs and the animation is a lot different. Yeah. So that, that could be the case. But I've never actually kept up with it. Yeah. So I don't know if it's the same or not. Yeah. But this, uh, anyway, getting back to the, the show, uh, this, this round, I just feel like, I almost feel like it's just like a filler round just to kind of get just to try to get us like or just to get us set up for like the actual matches that matter Mm -hmm. Uh, like it seems like this is like the match where they adjust and then so like those excuses are gone like when they were first saying like when they like were first talking about at the beginning of the episode where how like oh they're gonna have to get used to like how high the ceilings are and all this other stuff i was like well Mm -hmm. we know what the few the first few points are going to be based on right and they were they're they were Mm -hmm. basically just like setting up the balls completely missing them i'm thinking okay Mm-hmm. Um. Yet you. Yet you would think that other, others like these other teams would have the same issues, or you. You'd think like I. I I'm. I'm kind of shocked. Like, you have something like that, and like you don't tell them earlier. Like where it's just like you tell them like right before they get out there, instead of like you know kind of giving them a heads up like earlier on, or letting. Or I don't know why they um, don't practice. From from my experience, it could just be the fact that they're from a like the countryside in a sense, and they don't have anything. Else oh yeah, that. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Right, because if you if you remember, um, it's kind of like the running gag, right? Like, oh, it's the sky tower, it's the giant Tokyo sky tower, or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Um, sky tree. <laughs> yeah, sky tree. Yeah, sky yeah. tree. So it's it's one of those things where it's you have to realize that even if they would, I mean, of course they would think about it and they would want to get them used to that atmosphere or that environment, but that's just not possible where they're located. So um, gotcha. it's okay. not much you can do. And then, in all honesty, it's it's kind of what they mentioned earlier. Uh, like the first couple of rounds, it's just you getting used to the environment 
are you gonna let the crowd and the environment swallow you up or are you gonna surpass that and make it to the you know like the final bracket so i i definitely think the previous seasons had like more of like a, just the atmosphere in general they they had it just like so much more hyped where you hear like you hear the crowd and like a bunch of other stuff going on and this it's mm-hmm. just like you really don't see any of that you just see like you know some half-assed animated point and then <laughs> and then then just some like some some terrible cheering of like the teammates yeah and then moving on and or like or where they, they play like one point and then they just talk on they talk forever and then they basically just skip points and then they all of a sudden just bring you to like another point where yeah, it seems like they're definitely doing that a lot more this season than they did previous seasons or at least second and third season yeah, I feel like with this setup that they got going on, since there is like a break in between, they're using this first half of the season to set up the story, I guess. And I, kinda, then, I hope so. And then the second half would be all the action because that'll be I kind of what so. matters the most, right? Like yeah. the quarterfinals, semifinals, or however far yeah. they get. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I was saying, like, I think that's the only way I'd be okay with this season just looking <laughs> terrible with animation. It's if it's if they're just saving everything. For the yeah. second half, uh, just because like there really hasn't been, I mean, besides this, like they, they haven't really done any matches that matter. Actually, no, they, they haven't, haven't done any matches. They that haven't matter. done anything. Yeah. Like it's just I mean, added, like a slow setup, really. Yeah, the first half is basically watching uh, Hinata play ball boy. Right, you know, so, and then yeah. just him developing his like or like tuning his 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 natural instincts to yeah. to really good skills. So yeah, um, yeah. like say it. I'm if, really hoping that's it. Yeah, if if I, I wasn't really hope so. if I wasn't such a big fan of High I probably would have dropped it already because it's been that slow pace for me. Yeah. I feel. Um, yeah. But like I said, hopefully with the next uh part of the season they'll start putting more uh effort, I guess you can say, right. into the, <laughs> into yeah. the series. This is definitely one of the shows though that if uh if the second half of this season ends up being just as much of a train wreck animation wise as this one, I I would actually probably just read the manga at the end of the second half of this this season, right? Because it's just like if it looks if it just looks this bad, I would assume like the like the animation from what I've heard that like the animation looks it, it, it's in the manga it look just looks a lot more intense and mm-hmm. epic. And this it's just like eh, I don't know. Like, the points yeah. do nothing for me, but at the same time they're playing a team that doesn't matter. You don't know any of them, so that that might have an impact of it as well. But mm-hmm. we'll see. I'm still. I'm hoping for next for the next half of this season. This season is dead to me. Yeah, same. So, same. But I don't. I mean, we'll see what happens to this all then. Yeah, because they gotta yeah. at least show something new, something new and exciting. I feel before the the first part ends. God, I hope so. Well, you would assume usually with these like these types of shows, like especially with if there's like like if they don't really use the budget for any of the any really like animation anywhere. You would just assume mm-hmm. like maybe like the last episode would show like some extra stuff, or or let, let's just say like you know like their their match it's just because it's a nobody and then mm-hmm. they just kind of go through it. But then if it's still my idea where I think it's going to end up happening is like their match is going to end early and then they move on to watch other teams, and then I could easily see like let's say like if there's a surprise first round for like you know, let's see two epic teams, I could see them maybe using animation for that. Yeah, because I imagine if, uh, like, one of their friends, right? Because mm. they're they're kind of friendly with a lot of other powerhouse schools there. Yeah, like I can imagine them fighting it out, and then you know, putting all your budget into that specific yeah. match. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it's not Karasuno, and that's that's not what the the series is about. So, uh, you know, hopefully they they go out of a bang for the first part at least. I hope so. That's, that's what I'm waiting for right now. Don't make yeah. me don't make me watch like clips and, and uh, points from other matches in the previous. Like I did, uh, I think last week. Right. Oh god, that's so disappointing, dude. Yeah. I was just watching it like while you, and David, were talking about other anime, and I just had a tear running down my face on the other monitor. <laughs> oh god. But anyway, on that note, moving on. Yeah, that's it for IQ. Damn, sounds like you guys are having a good time. That's so depressing, man. I mean, oh, it's, enjo- oh, it's enjoyable. It's oh, enjoyable. But I was yeah. expecting more. Yeah, story. I mean, I still like the. I still like all the characters. Story is still moving forward. It's just not as impactful for me. Yeah, it's it's. I, I just for these type of shows, I just really want that intense animation. That's for me, at least. All right. Well, so that's got that's got to be our happy note for IQ. <laughs> Very uh, happy. We're gonna move on next to uh, Fate Grind Order. Yes. Um, so again, like this is continuing on the fight with uh, Tiamat, 
another solid episode, I would say. Especially when Gugamesh showed up, my boy. Yeah. Go- goes back to the, the douchebag we all know and love. He's not a douchebag here, though. That's what matters. <laughs> not, douche- this, not this timeline. It's a douchebag look. I don't. I just I, from. I just like Gilgamesh now. I just think he's a beast. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, hated him so much in Fate State. Yeah, uh, I mean, I always thought he was a badass, but I mean, even though he was a douche, but yeah. I uh, I, I was also like, asked to how, how are you enjoying the CGI? Dude, I'm, it's like if it's just it honestly doesn't really bother me. I mean, I was like looking at it where I think where I just think like it could have been better. See, but it's just like it's just one giant beast. Everything else is animated, though. Well, except for the rocks. Like, like for you, I don't mind like the. Oh, like, for the rocks, I don't yeah. mind like like Tiamat being CGI because I understand. Like, but then like yeah. when I have the rocks holding her CGI, it's like okay, that's kind of like. Well, I guess like I, mean, I don't know. I guess if it was animated, it's still like it would look weird. It would look weird. It would look really weird. So, but just yeah. like but just having the rocks next the CGI rocks next to the CGI like Tiamat just makes it sound yeah. even more. The, but the that's, one like, thing... you know, that's like that's. It doesn't really bother me that much. I just want to bring it up because I know how much you love CGI. Yeah, no. The the one thing that would have actually bothered me, let's say, like that part was fine. But if they had like if they if they would have CGI the see the the scenes where the other like, other servants were flying around them, like while they were like you know shooting stuff or hitting them with things, oh, yeah. if they themselves were CGI, that would have <laughs> definitely bothered me and or triggered me. But they did not do that. Also, dude, that uh, was it that old man that, or whatever that uh, the that grand, is, the grand, the grand, that grand servant, dude. Servant. He's so he's he's awesome. Yeah, but like I feel like he didn't really do much this episode. He's... I still don't know who I still don't really know who he is. Like I mean, or at least like if you're watching it in the anime and you didn't look it up, I you would have no idea really like, who he is. I mean, because he was he was Solomon, and then he turned to Hassan Al Shahid, I think. So, yeah, like... but you had to look that up though, right? I'm talking about his his name. Yeah, no, no, I mean, but I mean, like, they didn't show it in the anime, right? Or they didn't explain that uh, part? They didn't, I mean, they didn't explain it, anything, but they just don't even reveal his name. Like, <laughs> we, we saw, because like, like, the first time when Fujimari went to the Underworld, he introduced himself as Solomon. And then, and then when, I forgot all about that. Yeah, so that's the first time we saw him, he was Solomon. And then, like, last episode was when he revealed himself as Hassan. Okay. But, like, he basically just, like, he took, what, two blade beams at Tiamat? And then just cut up some of the, some of the the ads, and then dude, those those fucking ads are hardcore. Holy shit! <laughs> like those so, things I mean, are y- too yeah, strong. Yeah, they are strong, but like it's just I don't know. I thought he was gonna do more to, with Tiamat. Dude, these things are taking out the. I mean, they were they were taking out um, I'm blanking on her name. Ishtar. Um, yeah, like they, they took her out like nothing. Yeah, and it's well, uh, okay. it did, like, but but it's like. I don't know, when you have like a grand ser- grand class servant show up, you expect like I was actually more, like, I guess. I was actually, like more, more firepower from him attacking Tiamat. But he spent more okay, t- he spent more time attacking the ads. He's controlling the waves. It's whatever. I don't know. It's, I was, uh, I was expecting more. Well, but Well, I mean when but, really nobody else could handle the waves of these of the minions, besides Merlin. Merlin was awesome too. Yeah. Oh, did you see um when he mentioned Altria? Did you get the reference? Yep. Yeah, I bet I got that right away. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, although it's kind of man, I was like, you really gotta pull out that this a sword, even though you're, you're supposed to be a mage. Dude, yeah, don't matter, dude. Merlin, don't get it. <laughs> nothing holds Merlin back. Whatever. And that was probably like my favorite scene when he first just pull up. The, I thought he was actually. I thought he legit was gonna do some Excalibur shit. Like they pulled out of nowhere, like when he pulled the sword. <laughs> yeah, I still thought the scene was awesome. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, yeah, it was, and then uh, overall, he was just like, a, it was just. Like I was actually kind of shocked though that uh uh Ishka I forgot her name that she yeah. that she died yeah I was not expecting you know the goddess of the underworld to die yeah that was, uh, I, that think, was I mean of... like when they say like she committed I believe more because like, she committed taboo oh than, yeah like because that'd be weird I mean I guess I guess she did use a lot of powers but it's weird you think that being in the underworld you would have like you would, like you would have like like the underworld like spirits or aura giving you the power. Yeah, I think that's how it usually is in most anime. It's like whatever, yeah. like if you're like like Lord of the Underworld, you get your powers from the Underworld. She so, probably wasn't getting it though, because like you said, I think uh, it's taboo. The, the taboo. So yeah. that's like that's yeah, one that thing I can sense. see. Yeah, yeah, so. that that, is, that was that was kind of sad because I actually like her more of the two. Well, <laughs> so. Yeah, because Ishtar's annoying. Yeah, Ishtar is pretty fucking annoying. So um, 
Actually, you I got, don't you know. Got to see, um, you got to see me. Go ahead. I was say, like, um, I don't know why. I, like, I totally, I don't know. Like, I didn't expect, like, like even the last episode, I was saying, like, I was, like, I didn't think, like, uh, Gilgamesh wasn't going to die. I guess he technically did die, he did, but he came back as a servant. He became a servant? Like, well, yeah, I... I thought he was just yeah. gonna, like just like just come back as a normal king, but I didn't expect him to come no. back as like the the as archer basically. So so did he die then, or did I, I didn't look at Reddit Reddit or I didn't anything? Look either. So I, I assume basically okay. like because I think when you to be in order to become like a, a servant, yeah, you, you have to be dead. You have to be dead. So yeah, but does that apply to the underworld? I don't know. Well, he died in the normal living world. Didn't he technically go down to the to the, the? Didn't he technically die once? Does that matter at all? I don't know. Die. It's more like his soul is taken away. Okay. His soul is that... taken to the underworld, and they went back to the living body. So not like fully dead. How it's okay. It's, I would just assume based, basically like like, l- like in Final Fantasy, you're fainted, and then you just got a phoenix down. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I just thought like I mean, because because fate will pull anything out of their ass to like to somehow to have anything makes just somewhat sense. Like so I just have no idea. Shit. Well, yeah, that's why. I, like when I saw that part, I'm like, oh, I'll just wait till the next episode. So I assume like I'd get a better idea, I, even though I, we have I, a podcast that's weekly and I can't really explain it. I think I think it is. I think he did die up in like the normal world, and then he like was. I, I don't know like how he's able to come back as a servant because I think I think he's supposed to be summoned by a mage. So I don't know how. That's, no. I don't know that's supposed, to, but whatever. We got to see. Okay. We got we got to see basically like like servant like archer class. I, I forget to the like, Gilgamesh was an archer class. I always forget that. Yeah, he's just an OP class. So like <laughs> he shouldn't but, be an archer. His um his normal phantasm is like is like Emu um something. I think I remember that from the other fate. It's an insane fucking beam, beam that just melts your face. Like, yeah. I swear though his normal phantasm was um was the you know Gardens of Babylon or something. Like the where he pulls like all the swords. I thought that was his normal phantasm. No, I thought he was just doing. I thought that was just him normal, it's like normal abilities, because he's that OP. Yeah, because it's like because his whole thing, it's just like he because he has a what is it, the King of Heroes, and he has like a vault that has you know, uh, just nothing well, but weapons, and he just I'm throws sure them at like, people. If it has a name, it'd be like something like called King of Kings. Yeah, that's what like that, that's what the like what um the myth of the Gilgamesh is based about. He's called the King of Kings. Be, okay, like emperor basically, but um. Right, but I know with fate though. I know with fate they always say he's king of heroes, but that could be Gilgamesh just being, you know, his uh, I'm trying, smug I'm ass self. If, like, especially in like Unlimited Blaze Org, have you ever saw like that beam being used against like Shiro? It just seems like he uh, all he ri- did was just like just struggle with like with Shiro. The original like, Unlimited Blade work. The original fate stay. Uh, he ends up using it against uh, Saber, but then Unlimited Blade Works. Uh, he puts it away because he doesn't uh, like he he just he doesn't respect Shiro. So he basically says he says he won't f- he'll he'll fight without it, oh. and that's of course his just smug ass mistake because that's what kills him. So that's that's what they had to come up with about, like why Shiro could beat Gilgamesh. So it was a yeah. bunch of bullshit. I was gonna say it should have just been Archer against it's been, it's been uh, a lot of since I see Gilgamesh. But... Blades work, so yeah, I don't, I, I don't know why remember I remember this. Like that, but... Well, actually, the reason why I remember it is because I go back and I watch that fight, or I did go back and watch that fight because that that scene is so so well animated. You fotable. <laughs> So that's why, like, that's why oh, I, oh. I was I was expecting something that, like all the sword. I mean, yes, he has like this. You did do the sword attack this time. Like it's just like the, the, the thousand like sword like the. It did like nothing. It looked like rain. Sword. Yeah. I mean, it killed like the minions, and then it brought down. Um, oh, it did. That. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why like it actually killed because the, those things I thought like were immune to like normal stuff. Uh, I I mean, I don't know if you come if you become a servant. I wonder if you get like power up. So. I I just mean he's just he's that strong mm-hmm. like that like even like when he whatever he does like he's just he's that strong. Or the weapons have like some sort of holy effect that they're where it, like kills them or something. Because he's or just that strong. Them. Yeah, I could see that too. Oh, that was a bunch of too. Um, we finally get to see Mash's noble phantasm. I was about to fucking say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you finally got to see what, her noble 20, phantasm. I did twenty episodes. I finally yeah. could see what she got in the last singularity yeah. which is probably the spoiler for the camelot movies yeah you got to see her you get to see her her uh noble phantasm which didn't do anything without merlin's noble phantasm <laughs> so that was awesome again i was waiting yeah. for like some sort of like saber like reference in there nah 
I mean, but it's Merlin, so yeah. So, I mean, it makes yeah. sense, but... Yeah, I really don't even know what Merlin's, like, really does, but it just, it just I don't know. I, I just like Merlin. Linux, Merlin's so cool. Linux. Because I, I still don't get the flower thing he did when he, when he showed up when he first got revived, too. Because I didn't explain that. Because, you know, well, I think it's, screw the anime only watchers. Well, I thought, like, when he came in, didn't he just basically, like, bring himself to the time? Like, this is his, like, he's, it's it's actually him. It's not, like, a servant well, he, of him. He came in a bunch of flowers, so I didn't know, like, it was oh, not significant. Yeah. And then, yeah, they didn't yeah. show what Garden of Avalon is. Like, yeah, apparently he, he's with he he's something with flowers. Well, okay, they basically so. like they 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 told Mash, hey, we need your your noble phantasm, but like like, could she not have done that this whole time, or does it like take way too much energy that she basically only do it once per singularity or something? Like, well, I just know well because 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 the power that she uses is supplied by uh is 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 supplied by Fujimaro. Yeah, but like he doesn't so... even have a command spell, so he can't even power up, and she was still yeah. using it. So, but but he still has mana. I, he, but he just can't power her up. Maybe that's why they needed Merlin. I don't uh, know. No, it's just like it really, I'm thinking too much. It's just like the only time I don't know. The only time you could use it, and yeah, like you have to be combined with Merlin. Maybe all answers will be revealed. Enough. The, there's only one episode left, so we'll see well, how they wrap this up. Well, they're not gonna explain like because like stuff like Camelot, uh, uh, her noble phantom. They're probably gonna explain in Camelot. Yeah. Probably. And then we have to wait till the entire. Oh no, it's only a movie, so it's whatever. I think it's gonna be. A... I think it's gonna be more than. Isn't I? I don't think it's gonna be just one movie though. I. Does anyone say it's gonna be a trilogy? For Camelot. I well, hopefully because it's just like I don't know how they're gonna do like a whole singularity in they, one. They can movie. because because this singularity was two seasons basically, or twenty one episodes. Oh, it was. Yeah, so, but it was the final. It was supposed to be like the final one though. Final, yeah, yeah. Even though like half so maybe it's filler, more... but. Yeah, <laughs> mobile, mobile, mobile filler yeah. quests. When like yeah. was it? Um, when they, uh, I just so many parts of this fight too. Just in my mobile, mobile game or like RPGs in general, when like they had to split up and and then chase. Yeah, and then like they did the, the final like team attack thing too. Which, I don't know. It's just yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But it's cool fight. But again, like it's hard to get attached to the story because. It's all over the place, and we also got thrown in like in the final singularity. We didn't actually get to grow with Fujimaro and Mash, even though I've liked Mash ever since they showed like episode yeah. zero or whatever I don't that know why was. You like it so much was... when she's so useless. Yeah, I don't know either, but it's like she's my most expensive figure I have. So, oh, I mean, did you... <laughs> so, I don't know why. Did you see it? Um, <laughs> uh, they had like pictures of the, the prototype of the original Fate, and they're originally it was supposed to be like yeah. a, a shield, like the shield dude... class. Oh really? Oh maybe I didn't then. I'll look that up uh, when you, you and Ku talk it about. It was like it was like I think part of an exhibition that they did. Like, I think for like the tenth anniversary of Fate or something, or fifteenth or mm. something anniversary. And like yeah, like and they showed like concept art and stuff. And one of the concept art was basically like a shield class hero that's supposed to be in the original Fate. Okay. So you know, pretty much just saying like yeah, that's 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 how what turned eventually to Mash. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll have to look that up then because yeah. I didn't know. And then of course you know the endings when like like he gets like inside TMA and stuff and then like and there she's like you know the humanoid like figure. Yeah. Because like I expected that that's, that's general anime. Yeah, basically. That's actually a lot of RPGs too. Where, like when you, there's like this giant beast and then like you like you yeah. you're like, in like the you subconscious it. of it and yeah. then like the person inside the piece. Yeah. Yeah, it's whatever. So, and then of course she's like, like was it like I just want my children to love me, blah blah. Yeah, that whole part of, I just that was just that, really weird. It's just, it's just, I mean, it's anime, like. Well, it's just like I wanted them to love me, and, and then he's just like they love me, and then she's like tell them not to love me. I was like, okay, <laughs> glad we had glad this conversation happened. Well, that's just anime. That's that's anime. You, yeah, I just you, let it go. You see a lot, so. Yeah. So like, none, none of that surprised me. Actually, I'm actually surprised that Fujimaro. He got out relatively fine. Usually, like that kind of st- like they made it sound like it was so dangerous for him, even with like uh, all the stuff they gave him, he came out right. relatively fine. Yeah. Like, do you think he get injured? Like, like, or like they make it like gets it at the last second, almost getting a race or something. But yeah. Like well, somehow fine. this guy keeps getting more mana. I don't know how that's happening, but it's it's you know the beauty of anime. Yeah. But I'm done. I'm good to go for uh, the final episode next week. Hopefully it's hopefully it's good or just a good wrap up, and they explain some stuff from this episode no, that I don't have to I, go to Reddit I for. It. Yeah, I, I I'll probably end up having. Food. Just like 
just gonna say bye. Maybe I don't actually don't know what time we have in Gilgamesh since I think I think he is dead. So that's what I'm interested to hear, just to see like and there's like what there's like 500 people left too, but yeah, but whatever, yeah. All right, I am good to go. All right, so that's gonna be it for Fake Grand Order. More on next to It Invaded with me and Koo. I gotta say, man, this is a crazy episode. I I don't even know what's going on. Like, okay, so I think they say the beginning part when um when the chief when he, when he had to kill himself. I think basically, like, I mean, we know for sure he was trying to get his his consciousness in the the well. So I think, like, basically, I think if he was his, I think his thinking is like if he kills his body. But uploads his mind before he dies. He'll like he'll live forever. Kind of like you know the idea of like uploading your mind to the internet. I think it's just that kind of concept. Like, he was thinking like he'll his mind will forever be in like be in like the well or whatever. So that's what I think. Otherwise, it was really weird that he kept shooting himself. <laughs> like there was just so many things going on. Oh, I, just, I don't know why he shot. He shot uh like Akito. Like that was. I don't know what that was about. Like, if he's trying to, like... like <laughs> just because. <laughs> like, why not, right? If he's, like, trying to, like, science him or something, even though, like, I don't know. Dude, and then this guy Stone Cold just shot himself in the stomach four times, and then, and then he <laughs> sat down, and then he, sh- he, he went through the mouth. Yeah. And I was just like, man, this guy is so hardcore. Oh, he, what a beast. It's just weird. He shot... He only shot, like, Akihito. He didn't shoot, like, Konomachi or Fukuda. So it's like... I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that that yeah. what that part was. The, the thing about like shooting himself, I can kind of understand like trying to just get into the um... yeah, like for sure he wants to make sure he can't be revitalized because I think yeah. once uh, that... once he's revitalized and since he's already aware of what's going on around him, a storm would like his dogma would just like create itself instantly. So I'm thinking that's how they're going to stop well, him. I think he's he... just basic more like he can just escape because they can if he has a body, they think they, I think they can eject him. From the well, uh-huh. and then if he doesn't, then if he's he's assumed he's gonna be there as long as like the well system is in place, which is I think the whole point of like letting like Kiki loose is yeah, so that like you can keep the well around. Yeah, so uh, I'm not sure how they're gonna solve it, but um, yeah, but even then, just there's just so many like like WTF moments. Uh, I mine was like when um in. when that uh. The crazy chick just shot up uh, Fukuda. I'm like, oh my god! Like, yeah, like how did she get there? You know, just uh, actually, I don't know because yeah, because they made it sound like only the detectives can warp, and she just like followed them. Right. So John Walker was able to do it because of course he's kind of like the master of mind behind everything, and it took like Sakaido and him like a, a, like a minute to figure out what was going on, and then yeah, that that lady's first time in the in the well, and she's able to kind of teleport already. Yeah. Like I, I thought that was pretty absurd. And if she's able to find where Hondo and Fukuda was, like right away, and even Fukuda's like appearance was was kind of uh, like oddly convenient to show up and save Hondo yeah. from her well. So uh, it's it's kind of it's it the was way, a nice episode, but I f- it, it still felt a little rushed. But I think the way they put it together was pretty nice. The only thing I can think of for Fukuda is that like because he's familiar with the well system, I, because. Yeah, I think if you were unfamiliar, like you would be freaking out about like the dream state you're in. But I think because because um the other uh people they were in like that grassy area, but they knew like uh-huh. they were in a dream, so they didn't freak out as well. Right. So I think Fukuda, I think he just like I think that's why. Oh, also um Honomachi, she mentioned too that like he memorized the steps to get to, get to somewhere. So I think, so I can kind of see it that way, like where he's more familiar with the well system, so I can see how. He got around. Uh, I still find it to be too coincidental <laughs> for like too perfectly planned out for it to just pop up. Like maybe if it was just Fukuda, I can kind of get it because he's dove into the walls before. But just oh, with I mean, that I'm, talking, I'm not with just Fukuda. I agree with like like the other the other chick. That was yeah. weird. Yeah, but even it still seems kind of like a like a farce. Uh, and then she's like far stretch, you know. And then she just like just gets stabbed by John Walker. Gets fucked up, like redemption at its finest. At like one minute in, like it was, it was pretty nice. Um, I was kind of hoping for more of a gory scene, though. Like after, like after he he stuck the girl, he was just like maybe like like mess up for a little bit, just stabs. jig the sword. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, like 
Yeah, I mean, I wasn't surprised, especially like when he said like there's a monster. I mean, I, guess I was surprised it happened that fast, but it's like, oh, okay, right. well, you died. That's what you get, basically. But yeah, so I wonder if John Walker is in all instances of the world, or if it's just he was just happened to be there at the right time. I think it's something I don't know because like the whole that one location they're in of all the mask that might mm-hmm. be something to do with it. Where I don't maybe he found a way to like to see what's going on through all the mask. I mean, that's why he can know what's going on. Yeah, no, and honestly, I feel like he's just too overpowered. There's no way that Hondo and Sakaido can uh, can beat him unless Kiki gets involved, and I feel like she's gonna have to get involved. Yeah. To well, that's why uh, well, Kiki is that's. That's why he's he, that's what he's he got he's got to try to do because he's, he's mm. got entered with that this prototype helmet that yeah. looks like a VR headset. Yeah, and then did they ever figure out like where the scientist was at all, they or not really? Mm. I feel like he's still gonna play a key role in this somehow. Hopefully, it's really like the first part when um when uh the, the chief was saying I never killed anyone. I was like, okay, mm. bro. Like, I thought, I was, like, thinking, like, is this going to be, like, a bait where he actually says, like, he was under, he was, he's going to reveal who his real master was, but I think it's just him. Mm-hmm. So, but. Yeah, I think it was just him on together, because then we did figure out what his, his goal was. His goal was to sacrifice a few for the greater good, right? Because he did mention that due to his research or due to his, uh, his actions, they have been able to find a lot of serial killers. And eventually, that will start to balance out against his sins of what he did initially to get this machine up and running. Yeah. So I guess he does have some kind of motive that he was trying to accomplish. So I mean, um, I again, know. it's just self, just yeah. like self uh, justifying himself. Basically. So yeah. Um, but I mean, it wasn't as anything as what we predicted, or they, they, I'm sorry, they didn't really explain much about Kiki. Still, like besides. That's the one thing I kind of don't like. It's just like the whole supernatural, like psychic element of Kiki. Like mm-hmm. I think it would have been better. It was like sucks to like the the more like science fiction, like like technology and like diving into like consciousness. Now we're just we're using psychic powers, and it just, just kind of like kind of ruins like the immersion. I feel like it's kind of a cop out to be honest with you. Yeah, that's I just I don't like having. I mean, they ex- they had it in like the the dream part too when like. They said that Kiki like radiates like dreams and it affects others, but it's like I did, I just passed it off because it was in a dream, and I really was hoping they didn't bring in the real real world. Yeah, I was hoping they would give like a like a really short explanation of it, but then to kind of delve into like another explanation as to how they're able to create this this machine, uh, rather than just have it be psychic powers. Um, again, I feel like it's kind of a cop out, and I feel like they had so much more potential to make it work some yeah. other way um i mean but then the music was actually pretty spot on i feel Dude, every time uh, the music like whenever i have like up like the music playing during any episode it's always it's always lit yeah it's always been spot on i feel so at least the music's got that going for itself it's, it's, i think it's by like that same guy who does the ending oh so, yeah but it's Uh-oh. it's really i i love i love i mean I, it's like this episode and there's one where um he was wrestling the girl from the burning buildings I forgot there's like any other scenes with like the music. Well, I mean, there's also mm. the flash, the, the the flashback with the sad song, but like the, the epic moments for the yeah. music playing was really good. Yeah, I feel like there's only been two. Like so this far, episode, so. like, it was I don't know, just really badass. Just like just mm-hmm. the music playing, also Kaido was just like running around. Uh you get this uh like we're in the world is Carmen San Diego vibe to it now, <laughs> with uh, John Walker being the thing. So. Uh, the one thing that like that was really that that stuck out to me this too like was um when Honomachi mentioned something about like uh, after uh, she mentioned like you know like the, the crazy chick with the gun saying mm-hmm. something about, like uh, now now I can't remember but saying something how um like she didn't forget whatever and then it shows like the picture of like of the the high school class and it showed like the like a ripped out face and it was revealed that it was her. She was in the same class as, as the psycho mm-hmm. chick. Like right. I was trying to think like Because um I think Fukuda just mentioned how um she like she still has like the the um was it the the mindset to kill. Mm-hmm. Something about like because when he was dying he mentioned like holes and stuff and like 
and she was like just saying like i think i think she was trying to say like she she already had it before she drilled a hole in her head because she was in the same class as the crazy chick or something mm-hmm. i need to go i need to go look more into this but that's just the one thing that i was trying to remember because like they just like threw that in there and i like, didn't have much time to think about it so that's i just want to mention that on the on here yeah like maybe i should probably watch it again too because I, I felt like just watching it once you're gonna miss a lot of other tidbits that they threw at you that's like the one thing i was like truly really trying to remember it's because like, it's just it's just trying to go more into honomachi's character and like they just mm-hmm. you know they're, tra- they're trying to hint that there's more to her than because um just because like because you know she does really well in like the the well and like it's meant, it's meant for like you know serial killers and stuff and right so I know, I know you mentioned it before, like, when, um, for, because, did she kill, she, which, she killed, oh, no, she killed, um, the other guy, yeah, in self-defense, but. Um, supposedly. <laughs> but, but like, the reason why the detective didn't want her to be on his team, nor is because he felt like she she did have that that instinct to kill and she wanted to to feel that rush yeah so i think like this episode like when they revealed that like um she was in the same class i think that's i think that's also hinting at that more of that character mm-hmm. so i think that's like just revealing more of that so, so i guess maybe not, it was nothing like too big but it's just like it's just one of the things that i need to pay, pay attention more just because like it's just like i need to pay attention well, more to honomachi's character so yeah, no, because like every time she gets more screen time, it sounds like she's more of a deeper character than uh, they let on to be in the very beginning. Yeah. So we should probably pay attention to how how it develops, just because it might play a key role. I'm surprised like end. how much development Fukuda got. I thought he's just gonna be like, like especially after he revealed like he knew the whole he knew about like, um, he knew he remembered everything and stuff. Like, I don't know. I actually, I actually felt bad when he died or when he saved. Much, even though like, that part was really weird because like if he died <laughs> okay well we don't know because like it's in the dream world but i assume like right. if you die in the dream world he's staying in a coma i mean i kind of had a feeling that that he was going to develop feeling feelings for hondo just because uh was he one of the few that survived the drill in the, in, in the head like having a hole in the head and then uh he was so intrigued from uh intrigued of her about her like from the get-go and then I was like, yeah, if they ever see each other again, I feel like this is going to be like a connection that they have. It was really together. weird, just because like I don't know, um, like when, when like when the gunshot happened, he just jumped by super fast, and then like mm-hmm. he said the weird thing, something like I forgot what he said. He said, um, he wanted to say like one chance, or he said something uh, weird the first time, and the second time he went to say like here's this is my chance or whatever, or I don't know. Yeah. Like that part was really weird. Like I didn't understand what that was going for. But... Yeah. Like I said, I was trying to focus more on like what he was trying to say. Cause apparently those three things he wanted to accomplish or whatever, or that he did accomplish. Um, and then I, I guess I was just kind of lost uh, as to what he was trying to say. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I don't, I mean, maybe I'll just watch again. Cause the music but, was pretty badass. I mean, but yeah, it's like you said, this, this episode, this episode was pretty confusing. And I think yeah, I think hopefully. is next week's the last episode. Uh yes. Okay. Yes. So, because this is episode twelve, and the next one's episode thirteen, right? I thought it was episode eleven, or is it twelve? I don't know. Yeah, but I, I think the next one's the last one. Okay, but yeah, and then again, I I still feel like they're rushing it. Yeah. So that's... maybe that's why it's it's kind of confusing. Yeah. So I hope it doesn't end too bad, well. but also I also like enjoy the series. I'll still like recommend it to people. This is still gonna be like my top series for uh winter winter season oh yeah yeah for sure so um yeah i'd say it'd be this and darwin's game honestly um my hero is kind of a letdown haiku is kind of a letdown i'd still i I would still recommend madoka for anyone who's watched the original series uh yeah if you're into that yeah (sighs) okay um but yeah i mean i think that's it though um yeah, so it should be exciting, <sighs> exciting finale. Yeah, what? A, see, that's the thing though, too. That thing that kind of made you worried. It was like because of the cop out. I'm kind of worried that they're not going to end it. Right, that they're not going to end it on like uh, terms that will leave me satisfied. You know. Yeah. 
And this is like the kind of series that you don't you expect like the actual series to be over too. You don't expect them to get like a second season. Like you don't expect them to continue after this part. Like what is it to do after? Yeah, I feel like if possible, they probably could just leave it to be a cliffhanger, and then second season is going to be like uh, Momoka. It's going to be because even like the the director was like, "Yeah, Momoka is going to be my successor." So what if like after it's all said and done, that's like just, that's Momoka all, just carries on? That just sounds like a, like a cycle pass thing where it's like you solve like the main problem in the first series, so it's really weird to keep on going. I mean, you never know; it's possible because we still don't know what caused the director to be this way. Really, it's just how he is apparently. So. I guess I don't. Know. I just I can't see it having a second season. Eh, like story yeah. wise, I can't see a reason for continuing on. Right, but eh, you never know. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for it invaded, and then we're next to Darwin's game. Um. Just, oh I mean, man, dude, this one. I'll say the oh ending my was god. Intense. The feels. <laughs> Oh, dude, like, how... I got debated so hard, dude. <laughs> like, when uh, when his friend, Shinozuka or whatever, yeah. like, when he was in and he got his, his abilities, I was like, dude, this guy is crazy powered, like, overpowered. And then, of course, he fights against Wang, and uh, he just... Oh, uh, he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, my God. I got so debated. Like, I was like yeah, I was and then the ending... Too, yeah. yeah, the end scene, bro, it's... Ultra instinct time. That's all I can say. Um, Dude, did he did like a no look, or he just did like a cold stare? Just I think he did a cold <sighs> stare. But yeah, the thing is, like, um, I don't know, like, it's that ending, for, like the 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 shift in like in Kaname is like just just like just his attitude. It's just it's kind of weird to me because like just this whole time he like he he just gave off he. I actually, I don't know. He kind of like felt like he was giving off like this, um, this like cool, like, collected like mindset, and then like just have, I don't know. I guess, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that he went crazy over his friend dying because he did. He was sad that his other friend died, but I don't know. It's just like it felt like kind of sudden, like. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I will throughout this whole episode, I was getting the whole like teen Gohan vibe. <laughs> Where like, uh, like he's at the cell games, and then he's constantly like seeing his butterflies, and then throughout the whole series, he has yet to kill anyone, right? Like that was his whole oh, yeah. uh, pers- persona, the personality. Um, and then, yeah, he he finally lost it when his friend, who had nothing to do with the game, was kidnapped because of him. Uh, he had nothing to do with it, uh, and then he's suddenly dead. Uh, you know. And then after the butterflies were just released, he saw like memories of his friends in the afterlife or whatever. And then the guy just snapped. So he basically just became Super Saiyan think, two from this okay, incident. I think I think that's what was was getting me. It's just like because everything happened at the end, so it was like it felt so sudden. So I think that's why like right. that's why it was weird to me because yeah, it just it felt so sudden. So, mm-hmm. but if I think about it, like I guess it it does make sense. But just because like it happened it's like right at the end, like suddenly like. Yeah, it just felt like it felt just felt weird. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, like I said, it was a, it was like a crazy one eighty. It, it yeah. felt like he was everything was gonna be okay. You know, he was finally able to save him. Uh, once he was part of the D game, he was able to initiate the the help or whatever. But then the guy fucked it up somehow because he didn't have fingers anymore. So he hung up the call or whatever. Um, see, I, okay, I thought I was, we were gonna get baited because um. Because they're they're showing the yeah the flashbacks of the butterflies and they're in like and whenever uh-huh. you die you, you get like you digitize and you get the blocks like the blocks show up and they get rid of right. you but it hasn't mm-hmm. happened to like his friend yet so I'll I, that's why I was I was wondering if they're like it was gonna be a bait and his friends just like just reveal like he was actually fine or like, he had some other power that kept him alive or something so. Yeah, I, I thought that too, but I was reading some of the comments and they said the reason why he didn't digitize was because he was actually involved in a duel or he wasn't involved in an event. Oh, it was just something okay. that happened in real life. Um, kind of like how some of the other bystanders, like uh, I want to say when when uh, the rookie killer was going after Konami and then Konami ran into the uh, that police officer. And then uh, the the rookie killer just killed the guy, killed the officer. Oh yeah. And then okay. the guy the guy didn't digitize because okay. he wasn't part of the game. Okay, yeah. I just, so that's, I that's, that's, that's like a detail I forgot. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I had to look at the comments too to look to figure okay, out that detail. Yeah, that's, so. that's what I was like. I was just waiting for like, if it was got bait, but yeah, I forgot right. about that detail. Well, the thing that made me confirm it was just the fact that when you open up the box, a butterfly flew out, and that's kind of like the for sure sign that one of your D game players has passed I, away. I forgot about the butterfly, like because I think it only happened. It happened before like the treasure hunt event, the tre- the event, and like. The event took yep. so much of like the the, the anime season. Like I just basically mm-hmm. forgot what happened before that. Yeah, like you know, honestly, I I don't mind the way that they set up the series so far, just because of this one moment. I felt like it was actually probably the best time to uh, set all this up. Although I'm kind of sad that there's only like what one more episode I before so, the series yeah. ends. So that kind of sucks, but I'm just hoping that there's like a season two or something because there's so much that they can build off. Of this. Uh, think about these 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 like battle among these battle like app games. Like you don't usually get second seasons, so you, have, you just have to stick to reading the manga. Yeah, sadly. But um, I, okay, I thought it was really weird that um that uh Julan wasn't in involved in any of this. Like she just suddenly appeared like last episode, and then she's not even a B here. That's, I guess like. I, I guess um, maybe it makes more sense in the manga, but because like right at the end of the season, it just it's really weird that like she just shows up suddenly and now she's not even gonna be part of this this the last few episodes. I forget what was the reason why she couldn't join because they did uh, they, mention her. They just said that they couldn't get in contact with her or something. Okay. Or they couldn't reach out to her. But they didn't really give it a specific reason. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. It's kind of weird that they wouldn't uh, add her into this final battle just because she did just join the like, team. Like in terms of the but... anime, I think like I, I right. think I'm pretty. Sure, I assume in the manga, like this part ends soon, and then whatever next happen, whatever happens next, she's gonna be involved. Yeah. So, season two. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go. Weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, it was a pretty hype episode. I I would only hope that the last episode of the season. Like lives up to the hype because well, it sounds like shit's about yeah. to go down. See now, I guess no good. The only good thing is like now I actually, it's actually believable that that kind of would take down Wing because he's he's you know he's super pissed and he's in rage mode. So like His, the inner soldier has so awakened. This is, is kind of like you know the fight I wanted from the treasure hunt. You know, mm-hmm. like this, or this is what I thought was gonna happen during the treasure hunt. Like that this battle, I thought it was gonna be like a more like like strategic battle against Wang, but now it just seems like it's going to be a rage battle. Uh, it still could be strategic because they still have a lot of support casts on the outside of the warehouse. I and then... I mean, it um, just sounds like when Kaname's in, in rage mode, it sounds like everyone else has to do a strategic and he's just going to rampage. Right. Because even though he's in rage mode, like, Wang is still pretty strong. Yeah. And then... Um, I'm sure even with this, they're, they're finally going to be on even fighting grounds, I feel, with this. Oh yeah, and then like there's one part too where they said um, um the flame demon like they 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 think he's dead, and when they said that I'm like okay, in anime that's real anime. If you think they're dead, it means they're not. So I was expecting him to show up during this episode, but uh-huh. he didn't. So I don't know if he's gonna uh, show up he's, later he's or if he's actually dead. Uh, he can still pop up next episode. Like I, I, like, I personally don't think he's dead. Yeah, but like just when they said like I think he's dead, like come on. <laughs> That's like mm-hmm. that's like real anime. You need to yeah. burn the body. Plus, this guy, he's not gonna die from explosions, right? He's fucking. He can make his body like out of fire. I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. So. But I gotta say though, uh, cops are fucking useless in this series because <laughs> they couldn't do anything. Yeah. It was it wasn't like their SWAT team too, and they like still that, couldn't yeah. do anything against these so guys. Like, that uh, was... So like the karate guy, I wasn't surprised because like because I think they had surprise like a sneak attack. But mm-hmm. I the machine gun part, I, I assume it's because like he powered it up or something, maybe with a mm-hmm. single. Otherwise, he just like just that machine just tore through all like the riot armor and the the proof chests, the vests or whatever. <sighs> so yeah. I, the only explanation is like it had to be like a power up, kind of like 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 Kaname's power up or something. I don't know, man. It was like, just like, it just ar- felt armor, so It had to be like armor piercing bullets, some sort of single. Because they yeah. went through, yeah went through like riot shields and bulletproof vests. Like first of all, no one knows why the cop showed up, and then second, they showed they they had no like resistance or a plan to fight these guys, and you would imagine they have some kind of like uh, info as to what these guys are capable of. No, they just went in. They're like, no. you know, coming out, you're surrounded, and they I just got mowed down. I, don't, I mean, I think they're just normal. They're just still normal people, so they don't know anything about D game. 
and you're not supposed to talk about the game with you know anyone else so right but for your japan's swat team to be utterly useless like this is, is kind of disappointing i'm not surprised because they're just they're not that part of the game they're just normal people no, but they just stood there. Like the first guy got like sliced in half, and then the other guys was like, "Oh, what happened? Are you okay?" And then like Wayne just kept slicing them all up. Okay. You know, like just there's no reaction. Yeah. There's there's no resistance. Say, nothing. I, they just... I put that as like sneak attack, like or not sneak or surprise, like just because they don't. I, I cause guess it, it came out of nowhere. Right, I guess, but no, that's uh, useless. <laughs> Fucking useless, no, dude. I I give them benefit of the doubt just because they don't know anything about the game. Uh, I suppose, but uh, I mean, yeah, that's it though. That's all I had. It was it was an intense episode, and I hope next episode can live up to the hype. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna be it for Darwin's game. Um, we're moving next to Science Found Love. This was the finale episode. Yes. And I don't know. What do you think, Ku? What are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, I think Kimura is still sexy as hell <laughs> and uh, very attractive, but um, it was kind of the generic ending honestly it felt like black it felt like lackluster for an ending yeah and of course of course we don't even see the kiss like it happens off screen yeah but then the uh, the the romantic factor was at 100 points though it was perfect <sighs> i mean i guess I as a that. science type that might yes you care more about the numbers being perfect than the actual uh kiss itself which, which, if you think about it, right, having that perfect environment would give anyone like of science type, like a boner, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> like oh, that's I, so perfect. I think it felt more forced than anything. Like, for, oh yeah, definitely. For me, like when, when he, when he, Chris was criticizing like her, uh, her apology thesis, whatever. I'm like, mm -hmm. dude, this is not the time for that. Like, I know you're supposed, to, you're, guys, you're supposed to be science type, but like, this is not like the time and place for this. No, if you weren't going to break character throughout any time in the series, I, I would have hated if he actually broke character, like at this moment, because I that's think, just who he I is. I think this would have been the time to like actually, like, I don't know. Nope, I think that would have ruined it because then that would have made it like any other, like rom com, but uh, it would lose its appeal, like its niche, you know. Mm. And besides, like your morals already falling apart, so you can't have both characters, you know, like fall out of character well, it's like because she was so like unstable like i don't know like the whole like criticizing her her like pieces apology thing like what if i think it would mm -hmm. like mis create more misunderstandings so no because you gotta think about it like that's why her moral loves him like, like loves this guy so much because he's that way and i think like in all honesty i feel like if, if you fall in love with a person because of like their like their personality and their attitude and they were to suddenly just change it like that would make you lose interest in him somewhat. So, I think it would have been better if they didn't break character, especially uh, like uh, I don't Yukimura. know that really that really counts in like this like this situation just because like it's like stuff. It's like times like this like, you really need to communicate like clearly. Otherwise, you guys just gotta create more misunderstandings. But whatever, it worked out for them. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a rom com. Of course, it's gonna work out, right? So, but it just it just um, felt like nothing really happened. I mean, besides like the resolution, just yeah, it just felt lackluster and like not satisfying. Yeah, I mean, they finally got together, of course, and uh, like even Kanade was like, "Yeah, I give up on these guys. They're definitely not norm, but at least they're finally together now. So I'll just leave them alone, right?" And um, so it's I, just, I really just didn't like the whole like manga art artist like creating unnecessary drama for manga. It's like, um, I don't know. Just she was not a necessary character. Um, I don't think if they needed to create like a climax for the series, I don't think she was necessary. I've, I mean, it's nice that they explained where they got the money for that fancy hotel and all the like for the resort and whatnot. Was, I guess that was nice, but it's not necessary yeah, at all. It's just like when she went when I heard the whole rant like about just like. Oh, do you know about the Romeo and Juliet effect and stuff? I was like, oh right. my god, this is just so dumb. Like, you don't need this. Yeah, it was just too forced, I feel. Yeah. Uh, so, horrible character. Horrible plot character <laughs> or whatever they need it for. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's it, it's it wasn't that great. Like, I'll, I'll admit that. But it was... Um, 
and like fun fact like that formula on his got uh his glass cases uh his glasses case uh apparently that's a function where if you put in a graphics calculator it creates a heart okay yeah I so uh, something for you science types out there yeah so but um this since this is like the series finale we can just just give our thoughts on just the overall like series I don't know. Just like um, I guess, like the lackluster ending kind of describes my thoughts on the series. Just lackluster in general. Like I was expecting more, and just like it just fell flat for me. Yeah, same. It started well. It got really stale, and it started to pick back up, but it just couldn't finish strong. And like as much as I I love the the female MC, um, yeah, I don't know if I can recommend this to others. Really? No, not really. Like. If only, like, I don't know, yeah, I just, I don't know what, but it's just, like, yeah, they just need to work on the comedy, like, and just make it better. I'm mm-hmm. still, still going to stick with, like, it should have been, it, it shouldn't have been computer science or math focus. That's, like, that's too unrelatable to most people. It should have been more, like, like, natural sciences or, like, biology and stuff, like, mm. like something, something more relatable than to people than math. I, mean, I think it was fine like, because the first I, what I, the I, first three or four episodes it was they were giving you problems or situations that was kind of relatable to 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 anyone really not just science types. Yeah, but like um, biology is it's more like it's more tangible, so like it's more relatable. So then like, it would have been easier to make more like more jokes or make more comedy. Whereas like they just lean way too much into like math and statistics, and like it just it's too hard to make jokes out of that in it, or at least or at least they didn't do a good enough job. So. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I feel like they could have if they found other ways to approach it. Because there was that one episode where uh, Kosuke and Imbarada was on the beach. And then those three guys was trying to hit on Imbarada. And then Kosuke was like, man, like, what's going on over there? Is she in trouble? Does she need help? Like, the odds of her, like, being in trouble is, like, this percentage. And then, like, once the guy grabbed her hand, he just threw logic out the window and just went after him. And then, that's, like... That's just gen- general science. That's not, not specific to, like their study you know no but it was number related right it was uh, numbers you, related you still like put that like general science comedy yeah but i mean saying like like stuff like that like i found it to be pretty amusing um uh, it was kind of cliched but i thought it was pretty amusing like if they would have found some way to do that but hash it in a different way to make it refreshing or i think sh- they would have been just fine done, like more maybe more of the experiments like the early yeah. experiments were like pretty funny yeah, or at least I was kind of hoping they would expand the other characters too. Yeah, uh, I felt like they just focused on the two characters like too often. Uh, the well, professor was professor was kind was... of a bad character design, I think. Yeah. Uh, Kanade was really well done, I think. Kosuke is my favorite out of the whole series. <laughs> uh, Ibarada was kind of like lackluster. I wish, I wish there was like more between like, yeah, Kosuke and Ibarada. Like, right. Just, it just I didn't feel like any chemistry between the two of them at all. Even though like like even though like like Ibarada does you can t- like does love him, it's just like. Should, as an older sister kind of so just the whole the whole um just the whole like like cold stone personality versus like the hothead like uh-huh. know, it's just, it just didn't work out in this situation i think they sh- should have been different characters no i feel like it was fine because you know some people are into that they like to be dominated well, i guess then, in a sense but then they didn't really expand on that right okay, like they, they kind of they didn't do it a little bit yeah they didn't do like yeah. the comedy part good then they, they had to Right. It was kind of, they, they teased you a little bit and then they embarrassed Kosuke a little bit and then that was it. They didn't really expand on that. And it was just, I feel like a lot of lost potential with that relationship. Yeah. And then I kind of um, I kind of wish that like there was like like, you know, a romantic partner for Kanade because then like they could try out with her they just end up just having her make, misunder- being misunderstood with, with like with the two main characters. Right, so. and it's not a new genre, right? There's plenty of other uh, series in the past that's done something kind of like this, and then they showcase different relationships to kind of have a comparison so like, between like, the like different it, it types. Would, it, like, it would be nice to have, like, just her and some other guy just be the normal. They could have been the foil to, like, to the other people. Right, I think, right. I, I think that's what we're missing, too. It's just, like, like you, like, you had, like, the comedy. You need the straight man. You had, like, the, mm-hmm. like, like, the the comedic people then you need the, the straight man i think that's what we're, we're missing really but like it's a right. straight man couple just like, like from the get-go they're kind of setting that up with her and her teacher or whatever i thought that was going somewhere but eventually they just do that 
out the window. Like well, they just never well, mentioned it. I think it if again. it was like yeah, there's just, there was like normal couple to compare. Like I think right. that would have been that would have like helped the comedy. Just like just just compare how ridiculous it is to how a normal couple should behave. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. And and then like I know how you hated comparing uh, Yukimura to Sheldon, um, but I felt like that's kind of what it was. Uh, like in the beginning, oh, like I don't like like I don't have a hate of the comparison. No, that's. Well, no, no. You said you didn't want that to be the comparison. Oh, like what I meant is not what I meant is um, I didn't want to treat the main characters like Sheldon, like just right, just, like, like socially, like, awkward, socially awkward, just, just dumb, right. Like these people act this way because like they're science type, you know, like right. And I, I felt like I want this them is... to be their own characters instead of just like being stereotyped into like the science type thing. Yeah, but then like the whole time, I felt like that's basically what happened. Like, uh, like from the get go, like Amy was kind of robotic science type, and then Sheldon was the same socially awkward. And then as the series went on towards the season finale, Amy developed more, became more human like, and became more aware of her. Uh, like emotions and then Sheldon was still kind of that socially awkward kind of guy and he was just like just slowly coming out of the shell um, and like at the end of the field at the end of the uh, the, the series um, that's that's who I could help but compare them to like it felt like it was just a, a Sheldon and Amy couple again yeah I guess and like I, I like the show but I just I guess that's why I found it to be kind of stale. Like it wasn't really original. I think uh, I was just like I was. I was. I think it's just I was just disappointed, just because like I wanted it to be a good comedy about like science type, because we don't really see that much in mm-hmm. like in kind of this field. So I want this to be a good example, and just it just it didn't meet my expectations. That's why I'm more disappointed. Mm-hmm. Because it it should have it should have stood out from its premise. Yeah, and, and like I said, I think that's fair. Uh, they they had a good premise. They had a lot of potential, but they didn't Just lacking in execution. Yeah. So, I mean, what would we get out of a ten though? Like, what would you rate it? Probably like a six or five. Yeah, I get about five. six as well. Put me five. Only a six because of Hiromu and, and Kosuke. <laughs> Saving cast. <laughs> uh, but I mean, that, that's all I got for it though. Yeah. So. And then, and, and because um the first, and also, yeah, the first three episodes aired, like, the same day, so, I think it's all... Oh, that's right. So, like, yeah. so, and the first three was kind of, it was pretty good, so I think that's why I have expectations up, too, because the first three was pretty good. Didn't we say something about that, too? Like, I just hope that they don't make, like, hype you up for the series, and then as they start to release one episode a week, it just slowly starts to get stale and die down. Uh, I was I wasn't too worried, because usually, like, if it's like a 12 episode thing, like they're usually, d- I don't know why they did that, but if they did, it's usually because they're they're done. They're usually like finished with all the episodes, so it doesn't really affect production. Mm. So, but that's why oh, yeah. that's why the series is ending now instead of like the usual like you know yeah in a couple of weeks or whatever weeks when it should have. But yeah. All right, but uh, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. all I got. So yeah, that's uh, and so that's our first like finish. Uh, series of the winter season uh, look forward to that for next week and the week after that <laughs> and then we're going next to um, Bull Fury and we'll have Ku go ahead again are they still in, so, uh, are they still in the event with uh, I forgot what, I forgot what they yes. going on yeah so are you caught up at all no oh my god did you just give up on it basically well I'm okay. just like just being caught up like maybe i'll finish it later but not okay not, not right david now. you won't finish it yeah you're not going to finish it it's okay uh but yeah so with this episode they're still finishing up right um so technically the first phase in a sense like the first day is coming to an end and then um pretty much sally has been the mvp she's been going after all these other clans and obtaining their orbs and then she actually kind of messed up at the end where at the end of the day, she wanted to get as many points as she can before it gets harder for them to kind of rack up points. And then she kind of overexhausted herself and she was about to get killed. Um, and then, you know, like, lo and behold, uh, here's Maple coming to save her, <laughs> With flying her, in uh, as an angel. Oh, I thought she was a demon, but I guess angel, yeah. Yeah, so she flew in as an angel, just saved everybody, transformed into the mecha god that she is, and just shot everyone down. 
um saving sally of course and then um yeah you know and they're able to rack up a lot of points um and then one of the other guys uh was able to actually ransack maple's base but because she left uh she left the two max attack twins there or sisters or whatever and uh they were able they were about to lose their orb but then you know of course maple makes it back just in time to save them um because the twins were able to fend them off um so that was it like the first half episode or first two-thirds of the uh, episode was pretty boring um and then now they decided to like uh, change roles and have all the melee attackers stay in base to defend while well, Maple, which I thought they should have done from the very beginning, Maple is now slowly just waltzing into every single base on the map with a flying turtle just grabbing the orbs and then just you know, slowly going in rotation to grab all the orbs. And like no one can do anything about it. Um, they actually end the episode with Maple going up against the Flame Emperor's group and um, she's basically just slowly walking towards the orb and they have all these traps laid out for her and they're trying to slow her down but they can't do anything and then uh they were able to stall long enough for their leader to come back to stop maple and that's where they end the episode so it's going to be maple versus the flame the flame emperor group so um doesn't this seem like, like a, said, a fun game that you want to play yeah i would just give up in all honesty don't you want to play if you want to don't you want to be part of an event like this and play against maple <sighs> I would just quit the game because it's so fucking unfair, dude. I don't know how like. I thought you love. I you love the game balance. Oh, it's so good. I mean, I guess we still haven't seen uh, that one guy, the number one PvP player. Uh, we have still yet to see him like go in action. Uh, so maybe he'll be a good match for for Maple because remember she's not really invincible. They did introduce the whole defense pierce mechanic into the game now, to kind of counter Maple. Um, but with every with all these tools that she has in her arsenal, I don't think anyone can stand up to Maple. Um, but I guess, in all honesty, that would be the only hope we have left for I mean, a countermeasure to Maple. This is just a, just just as balanced as like as tanks and bruisers in league doing the most damage in the game. Yeah. So yeah, the juggernaut uh, just, meta, I guess, is what they called some, it. Riot, some riot balance going on here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, they, they had a lot of potential. Uh, I thought it was really nice that they were trying to like give Sally more air, more air time, but, um, she just had to be saved by Maple. So it kind of, she, she yeah, lost some of her credentials, the, you know, the, the award winning, like pro gamer being saved by the noob, by the noob. Yeah. So, such, sounds so like yeah. such a fun game. Yeah. I think there's only like two episodes left. So, uh, they're probably going to end it with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're just going to end uh, end the event with with Maple fighting against Payne's clan, and then just see what happens from there. I don't think they're going to win the event, but uh, I don't think it matters at this point. I just, and I just honestly, want, like some good art, it's a good MMO anime. Yeah, there's no sense of urgency. There's no balance. There's nothing groundbreaking. It's I don't know why I watch this, man. Give me my MMO. <laughs> With guilds, give me, give me like. You keep stupid... asking for it, but we're not gonna get it. We're not gonna get it, man. Give me... Lock Horizon. It's old news. It's it's old news. It's not gonna happen. I swear, Lock Horizon is gonna be a uh, a disappointment. I will, <laughs> I will choke slam you, kid. <laughs> Bro, look at all these other like like long overdue continuation series. High Q season three. It's I mean season Wait, four. Brian doesn't know oh. yet. Brian oh, doesn't know. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna stop after season three. <laughs> just, just yeah. Just what? stop season three. We'll what? let you know how part My two becomes. Life, dude. We'll let you know how part two becomes. Cool. I hate you. What? <laughs> My fucking life, dude. But it's is it because true. of the animation. I blame the animation. Dude. Story is actually still good, but the animation is uh top notch. All right. Tell yeah, yes, it. it's very good. You're watching a sports anime. It's not about the animation, okay? It's about the feels. It Don't listen to Koo. It's it's what? about the animation and the feels. It's, yeah, it's but... like it's like why you buy like a, a nice TV of like the was it the fast motion modes because you want you want to watch sports at the best settings. Uh no no you watch the sports animes for the uh, other stuff. Um, okay. But yeah, like every every anime season a series where they have like a long hiatus and if like re revamp or continue on the series it's just been name one that's that's been great 
where they do a continuation after a long hiatus. <laughs> right? See? Was, there you go. I was going to say a troll answer for Strand. I was going to say Dragon uh, Ball Super. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I was actually going to say Dragon Ball Super. Oh, God. Uh, that's not actually, even... I, do th- I, do think that, I, I think that... Uh... I don't know. Like animation wise, I think they finally they got yeah, it figured out. I mean, it's like the animation. Well, it's bad, always bad, about bad. the animation, dude. It, with Dragon also, Ball Super, you have to do animation, man. It's not the story. Jesus, it's such BS. Power levels. You know the that saying. Power levels are bullshit. It's legit. Is bullshit with this. All right. Like I love yeah. Broly and I love Dragon Ball, but just the fact that after it's all said and done, these other characters are coming in and are just like super overpowered. Bro, and then, Dra- and Dragon then Ball Dragon Ball is just a meme. Yeah, right. Whoa, 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 chill, bro. Dragon Ball for some people is their lifeline, okay? Let's it's calm crazy. down. Well, they need to right? expand the lifeline to other they, anime. Yeah, Listen, bro. But name one good continuation after a long hiatus. There is none. Sometimes you just got to let something die. Just, one just, piece. Just let it go. One how Piece long, never had a hiatus. Okay, so how long is this Hunter, hiatus Hunter, Hunter suck my dick. <laughs> how long Hunter did how, have a hiatus? How, how long of a hiatus are we talking? Like, like what's, just what's the, what's the length? I don't know. Anything more than two years? I guess I don't know. Ah, uh, I mean, Attack on Time bounce back. Yeah. I mean, season two was kind of garbage, but it it did bounce back. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> That's where I gave up Attack on Titans because I love season one, but season two I just couldn't get into it. Yeah, see if you're just stuck through it, then season then, three is got here. So, yeah, just just deal with the shit, and then eventually the shit will taste Dude. good to you, right? Is that, uh, is that okay, I'm just gonna say it's really good because, like, okay. yeah, I'm just gonna say the the best long, like you know, or the continuation after a long hiatus, it's gonna be Snafu. <laughs> You got me fucked up. Dude, what if, Red? Like, I, I hope you don't hate me for this. What oh, if? Cool, I will deny. They're gonna I will deny up, up and down the show, how bad that fucking show is. Because the characters in the show end up getting Corona anyway, will, so it doesn't matter. I will be, I will be <laughs> all, I will be like all the Sword Art fans. I'll be like all the Haikyuu fans. I will deny. Do you know? <laughs> do you know how hard it is to defend Haikyuu? Like, <sighs> I'll admit, like I don't really care much for animation, but even Watch I. People. Find it hard to defend that. Even watch you me, can't stand IQ. Dude, watch me, man. I will be like the Republicans defending Trump. I got this. <laughs> oh god. Well, okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Ah, oh, once we got the politics, man. Just... <laughs> I quit, dude. All right. All right. And that's what I'm saying. Like I've I've always hoped that the continuation will be like as good, if not better. But Snaffo. so far, everything's been kind of a, a, a disappointment. Snaffo. We'll we'll wait and I'll see. Just say I, I don't. I didn't think um was it Fomal Fomal um Panic. I didn't think the first season was that nope. bad. Fomal Panic was fine. Yeah. I I don't think it was as like I actually I, mean, I thought I the mean, first half was good, sec- but I, I mean second half is probably like, still the best, but like the I still like Kyoto. David, your face is amazing. Yes, it is. Thanks. Yeah, but Full Metal Panic, like like one was great, two was alright because it went more comedic, and then like I'm not gonna the, lie. I love two. The yeah. third one was kind of right. Fomal yeah. was awesome. Second raid was the, still the best. Yeah, right, but then like the third one that just came out recently after like yeah. what five, six, one, seven years. I I don't know. I honestly just don't remember what happened, but I'm pretty sure at the last episode, the third season, I was so mad for some reason. Yeah, that's all well, I remember. They stopped, it. They stopped it on a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah. but I was when, so... when I when I do timestamps for this section when I when I'm editing, I'm just gonna say like <laughs> random stuff, random anime. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna then I'm gonna have like you know I'll have like random We're anime slash politics anyway, slash so. coronavirus. <laughs> Okay, but it has nothing to do with this. This you know, the, yeah. the word is mentioned there. Yeah, that's so. right. You should thank me because every time I have hopes up for something, it ends up being really bad. So by having low expectations, maybe it'll just be really good. I See, mean, you're I, not wrong. I'm, you're you, I'm always you that guy expecting that better. You know? Yeah. Sometimes if you got low expectations, then it can only go up, right? Right, right. That's why I, I think I've, yeah. I've become a pessimistic. That are that's why. So. I... That's why you don't watch PVs and just wait till the show airs, and then you get mm. surprised. Yes. Yeah, the only one that I was right. really disappointed. The only one I was disappointed and depressed was One Punch Man. That it just like that that PV just like that just looked like shit, and everybody's just like, "Please God, don't release this." <laughs> and they did. Oh, oh man. Yeah. So, but uh, that's but that, that's like, my spiel. My like yeah. I said, my original wish. I just want. Good MMO anime with guilds. That's all I ask. Log Horizon, bro. Good luck, David. That's the only one. We Honestly, have. I would say Log Horizon. No, no, Log Horizon is the last one I have faith in. And then, wait, what about more. 
what about God's Tower? Isn't that supposed to be? All right, really friend. Good? Wait, what? I mean, not Wait, friend. Who? God's Tower, whatever. You mean Tower of God. Tower of God. Tower of God. There we go. That's not. I don't think it has anything to do with the deal. Oh, uh, I don't not, know. That's maybe not, that's not an MMO though. I think it's just just like has it's like, it's like the fancy setting, but it's not. When I say MMO, I mean like people actually logging on with the with their characters and playing a game. Well, technically, oh, they don't yeah. log in and log horizon. They're just stuck. They're stuck. So yeah. like, but like they but, but it started off as an MMO, so. Okay. Like. But yeah, that's, I don't know. That's all I ask. All right. I I will give you my time, but I will not expect much. That's okay. Or or that's... at least like have these start having like these game animes written by actual gamers, not not these like wannabe writers. Like have structure, just just have no, something. Just have people who actually play games like write this shit. They can't because they're too busy playing video games, David. Do you not see how this works? Hey, just, who I gets got, the memo? <laughs> <laughs> I just got an Ammo Crossing, guys. So I'm ready to go. Pre oh, Nice, nice. Yeah, where's, where's your Ammo Crossing anime? David, why don't you sit down? <laughs> <laughs> no, ooh, big boy here. Why would I want that? Why would I want Animal Crossing? <laughs> but yeah, you, uh, you play it so much, you'll know how to write the good story for it. When have I played it? I when know. is the last time I played? I, I played know. the mobile game for a day, and I then know. I got rid of it. I don't know. You sound so excited. I thought you. Yes, I thought you were a long, lifelong Animal Crossing fan. Uh, not really. This one sounds good though. So, all right. I'm just okay. That's gonna be it for both furry and our our long tangent. Thanks, Koo. Wait, we still have another thing to talk about. I'm just supposed to the end of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say quick about Inspector, just because. Oh my god. Just real quick, because because like <laughs> ugh, this shit is it's dragging on. I made the mistake of going on Reddit because I I was trying to hopefully hopefully like, get some sympathy for people, and of course of course like the top rated comments is like saying. I really enjoy this arc, blah, blah, blah. And I had to scroll down to find people who, like, who were saying, man, this shit is so slow. And I'm telling you, man, that's going to be me snafu. Fucking, fucking Reddit, man. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy. I can see it. I can see it. I'm going to be that guy. Like, it's, oh, God. It's like, all, like, the negative comments were just buried underneath that to find people just, like, to agree with. So, like, this, this episode was actually, the first part was actually kind of, it was kind of enjoyable because, like, because... Because the main chick, like again, the because like the ghost, like the ghost is only alive because like people believe it's alive and it was you know it was spread through the internet, so it went viral. So like so like, this ghost is like it's being fueled by like just viral like like shit posting on like 4chan stuff, and so like like the main character like, that she's trying to like to counter that with her own like shit posting on 4chan. She's like making up lies and stuff, so. This first part was actually pretty interesting. Just like how much lies she's, she had, to, she had to lie and BS so much. I'm like, what the hell? Like, like how the hell? Like this this chick is just making up so much stuff, and then and then actually gets the parts where people actually believe her. That part was actually pretty enjoyable. But then like, but then the the villain started counting her, and then it's just like it just got dragged on where they just like they kept like it was just so much talking and like back and forth. And she just kept making up more stories, and then just like it just, it wasn't enjoyable anymore or funny. It was just like it just dragged on, and so like yeah, this just this arc like it took up so much of the anime like, because the first the first arc only was only like three or four episodes. This is like six or seven already. I'm just ready to be done, which is a shame because the premise is really I enjoy the premise. Like it would it would have been interesting if they had any other like 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 other any other like story going on but just this arc is just draining a life out of it so that's that's a shame and i probably can't recommend this anime to anyone anymore I'll probably just stick with the manga and just like just skip through this arc so that's gonna be it for inspector <laughs> now we're at the end so okay that was quick that was very depressing david nice 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 uh, note to leave so... it all. yeah but it just killed the mood yeah, because, like, I, know, right? I, I has I had like I had it as like one of my top uh, series of this the season, and then just this this arc just just went downhill because this is how long it dragged out. And now and, stuff, like, and, and again, like I'll say, I made the mistake of checking Reddit, and just like you noob having the you GD having, noob having the reasonable people be buried all the way at the bottom of the thread. <laughs> 
Yeah. So that's why I'll still uh, stick. That's why I have to stick with just, just like it invaded, just still being top, top seeds, top series. And then I still recommend Monoka to anyone who's a fan. Do of you? The yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's like, it's not, there's like, there's some qualities of it that's not as good as the original, but like the spinoff is pretty good. And like, it's pretty, I would say it's oh pretty God. standalone. Sorry. I mean, I guess you still need to know like some stuff of the original show, but like, there's not too much you have to remember from the original series. So yeah, I, I still say Monoka is really good if you um, enjoy the original. Oh, and also, uh, you mentioned, I, I want to give a shout out to uh, Aizoken, just because like, I've only seen the first three, but it's still like really good. So like, hmm. I just want to give a shout out because I really want to finish that series. I couldn't get past the animation. I I, uh, I appreciate it, so I'm going to keep watching. But yeah, that's to be it for for it um we're slowly again wrapping up to the end of the season hey the, god the get me out of here season <laughs> i would say i like, expect this much this just actually no i i, I should say like this season has it's never been as bad as this season like because at least like other times there's been like one or two good shows like we just we don't have any like we don't have an anchor show see we season. were supposed to have good shows but they're not but no, they were just disappointing doing... like the anchor shows end up being disappointing well, to us but but the the blind fans, uh, it's fine with it's fine with them. Which is gonna be with, with me and Snafu. Yeah, yeah. I'm just the gonna blind lie to myself. fans. Yeah, the blind if it's, fans. If, 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 if it's bad, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lie to myself. I'm you gonna be living in denial. Snafu, okay. What do you mean? Don't fail me again. I gave you the greatest gift of anime. Oh, you gave me, bro. How long? How many years has it been? <laughs> bro, I didn't know. Exactly. I, didn't know, okay? I blame David because David lied to us. He, lied? he lied. How to do us. I lie to you? Oh, lied God. to us in the timeline. How do I lie You're to like, you? Oh, it's going to be at least two years. This is in 2015. It is 2020. <laughs> and we were just getting it now, you fool. Okay, Jesus, I, didn't, okay. I didn't think it'd take them that long to make the final. It's okay, man. It's okay. Actually, I didn't think this would be Everything the final happened. season. I thought it would keep going on. So that's why I thought it'd be two more years. Yep, I'm going to cry my eyes out. No matter what happens, at the end, I'm going to cry. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't act like I'm going to be alone. <laughs> you might be. Right, Bro, I've lost all connection to any of these characters. Okay? Oh, you think so? They're okay. gonna need to give me like, at least the first four episodes oh, of this no. season. No, Dude, I, still, I, still love one, I, I still love Hachiman. Episode one, you will get all those feels back, or just rewatch the show. I'm actually thinking of rewatching the show before it starts because uh, I, 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 I still love Hachiman. Much. Yep, I love the show on Hachiman that much that I will watch it again before the show starts, so I can really go in depth. Okay. We might have to do the episode on a whole different thing because it might be two hours. That's fine. By itself, I'm kidding. Who, who's who's not gonna? Uh, but um, I was say like, if you have food in your place, sure. Who cool. you're you watching Snap Food though, right? Yeah. Okay, just checking. Just checking. <sighs> make sure you're one of the good guys. Yeah, and then I'm gonna shit on it. Good guys. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> David, I can't, I can't be it. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I'm, I'm ready to, cause I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna basically, def- I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll see. I won't spoil anything. I don't think it'll be that bad. Like, I think it if it, cause the. The last light novel came out, I think, last year. I think it would have been, if it was that bad, we would have heard about it, or someone was spoiled. I'm, so. I'm actually not worried because I think this is the, this is really one of the only anime uh, uh, animes that that um, JC Staff has done, and I actually thought it looked nice. It's JC Staff. <laughs> so, are you sure? I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure this pretty season sure, was JC. I'm Steph. pretty sure. Or this season? Okay, I'm, this, this last season because the first season was something else, but they changed it to JC Staff. Oh, really? And I, and I actually thought it looked. I thought it looked really good. Like JC staff is good with like the slice of life slash whatever ones. Just don't do action, man. Just know your just know your they do so much action shows though. Like they do they they animate yeah, all like, the and action. They so many. They yeah. actually animate all the action light novels like like Index and Shana. And, yeah, they and ruin a lot of stuff. Shokugeki and Honestly, oh, they, I don't say they me. I don't say they ruin just like I think it's just like they just cut out too much from the light novels. JC staff? Yeah. That's like my main complaint. They, just, they, oh, they, they cut out too much of the light <laughs> novels. The only one that, one that you didn't really was just Toradora. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Studio, the studio feel. Wait, are we yeah. still going? Huh. Yeah, we're almost done. But um, yeah, yeah, it wasn't just staff. No, because the first, I was wrong. First, Son season, of first season was, I think, it was like brain based or whatever. And then, yeah, second season, I, I didn't know who it was, but it wasn't JC staff. Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. I was wrong. So now I'm worried. Thanks, David. <laughs> wait, are they doing the third season? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
It's I'm, coming. I, I'm telling we'll you, it's later. coming, Threaden. We'll talk yeah. later. All right. Well, we'll, we'll talk. Well, we'll talk about another episode where it's not. So, you know, we're, we haven't been going on like rambling forever. All right, that's gonna be it for us today. I want to thank. Are we sure? Are we yes. sure this time? Yes, I want okay. to thank the listeners for making it this far, making it through all that rambling, making getting through yeah. Threaden's goddamn political. It, <laughs> if, if you if you quit before this, then we don't blame you. No one, no one Dude, listens I, to the full two hours anyway, so. No, uh that's not true. We do. No. We have <laughs> that one. We have that one fan. I know you're there. Yeah, no one's got to listen yeah. to the full two hours. Uh, one fan in Germany, dude. Yeah. We don't have if any you, more fans it's... in Germany. Damn that's it, the one time oh, only. It's okay, man. Everybody, everybody's in lockdown. Maybe we'll have more. <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. True. Shout out, shout out People the... don't have lives now, so they have to watch this. Podcast. Everybody has to go through the depths of YouTube to find anything now. Shout hopefully, we are. Hopefully, we are already. your comfort. All right. David. Yeah. Okay. I'll take Italy too. Shout out to all the old people <laughs> in the hospitals in Italy. David, my God. Yeah. Really? Can you, can you, right. can you right. hate this, on me about something? This is where we were. Trump. This is where we are. This is where we are now. So, so yeah. thanks, David. All right. Well, During all this rambling, guys. Uh, season three is Studio Field. So. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm not worried anymore. Thanks, David. I want to thank listeners for making it this far through all the rambling. I want to thank the panel for joining me this week, even if we did yeah. ramble. Thanks, friend. Yeah, no problem. Dude. That's that's why I'm here. Yeah. Yep. Just for rambling. Dude. Yeah. Almost, I have to defend Snafu, almost, man. I already have to defend it. Nothing's happened yet. We're almost through this season. Just gotta make it through. Mm. And Snafu doesn't air, I think, till April 9th or something, 9th or 10th. So we, yeah, will, we, won't, we won't make it to it till the second week of spring. So just hang in there. We're almost there. Hopefully, we make it till next week. Yeah. Yeah. Don't die from Corona. Watch, Please. Wash your hands, folks. And we'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.